Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Hot Fuzz, starring Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Jim Broadbent, Patty Considine, Timothy Dalton, Bill Nye, Billy Whitelaw, Edward Woodward, Anne Reed, and Rafe Spall, and directed by Edgar Wright. I remember seeing the trailer before, and I've at this point in 2007, I've seen Shaun of the Dead at this point because I couldn't remember it even though I couldn't remember what the movie was supposed to be. But I did see this movie in theaters, and I remember loving it. Now, let's get into it, shall we? The opening sequence gets us to know who Nicholas Angel is, played by Simon Pegg, who is a fantastic, is a fantastic sequence, as well as our introduction to the sergeant, played by Martin Freeman, the inspector, played by Steve Coogan, and the chief, played by Bill Knight is a really a brilliant way to start the movie off and gets the plot going. Janine the Cavity Searcher in Crime Scenes is a great cameo by Kate Blanchett just like Peter Jackson as the Santa Claus guy who stabs Nicholas in the hand with a pair of scissors. I love the scene where Nicholas is at the bar kicking at all the teenagers that aren't supposed to be at the bar whatever their age is. Even the line, what year? every year and the teenagers are either scared or lie about their age is really just a funny scene simon skinner <laughs> kind of a funny name played by james bond in some of the older films timothy dalton is a really good presence in the film jim broadbent plays the chief of this town they send nicholas to and has a son who loves his action movies named danny played by nick frost the townspeople have a neighborhood watch meeting called the NWA. Now, am I the only one thinking of the the rap group from the 90s? The angle name for Nicholas is rather amusing for a bully kind of way. The swan escaping and Danny going, Honk! Honk! Was actually pretty funny. One of the townsmen walkies, talkies, another townsperson, kind of an obvious way to think the townspeople are in on letting the crimes happen, and people call them accidents, when really, yeah, bullshit. The version they see of Romeo and Juliet on Broadway felt pretty much not the right story of William Shakespeare's beloved story, with the alcohol and a gun to Juliet to shoot herself. That's not a realistic way for the story, for Romeo and Juliet, let me say. When they visit a guy in the barn with a shitload of guns and a bomb that was deactivated and the way they played the Lethal Weapon theme song, I love it. I think it's great. I noticed that Nicholas and Danny paid with a $20 bill for refills of beer just like, and the next thing you know, they pay with a $10 bill and then they pay with a $5 bill as they get more and more refills on their drinks. While they drink, while they're drinking... The drunk, excuse me, urinating guy, is getting killed by his house exploding. They watch Point Break and Bad Boys 2 when, wouldn't some, which, that reminds me, wouldn't, wouldn't someone prefer the first Bad Boys than the sequel, which is always as good as, like, because sequels are never as good as the original with a couple of exceptions. Bad Boys 2 is not one of those exceptions. And Michael Bay should know that better than anyone. Mr. Messenger's graphic death is kind of a weird death, which wouldn't that hurt like a son of a bitch? The music in that scene is very alien movie music when they invade the planet Earth. Even though they don't do that in the movie, it just sounds like it. Danny had a birthday scene when and Nicholas tries to get some Japanese flowers, which is really not a nice thing to do for your partner until the lady who sells you them sells them to you, dies by a serial killer. When people think it was an accident, the moment we find out the whole town was in on the murders, the chief was on it too. When they introduced the chief as in on the murders, I knew that was coming because he mostly tells Nicholas to either let the prisoners or let the murder cases go is rather inexcusable for a police force, but I'll, it'll lead to a final fight at the end, which will turn out to be badass. The final action scene has its clever moments as well as some kick-ass moments. They grab the swan and the toy maid town is actually a great punchline, especially when Jib Broadbent gets killed by it, the swan. Death of Skinner, where it goes through his mouth like this, feels, that just feels painful. The moment 
when Danny can't stop, can't shoot his father, but instead shoots the sky like Keanu Reeves did in Point Break, and lets the helicopter fly past them like what happened in Bad Boys 2, that was a good reference to cop movies. Now, time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 8.0 out of 10. It was funny, it was great, and it had some good moments of cop films. I highly recommend you check this one out. So I'll be back next week for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. So until next time, fuck a doodle doo!